Well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the J. Robin Show. We have a very special guest and a young lady who has been consulting for business professionals for the past 20 years and on setting and obtaining career goals and objectives. She has counseled with executives from small to large companies spanning from the West to East Coast. And some of her clients include Honeywell, Microsoft, Ernst & Young, and college students seeking admission into professional health care programs. Quite a resume. The typical professional today is going to change jobs at least 10 times throughout their career. That's unheard of because many years ago it wasn't the case. Since a large part of the day is spent at work and traveling to and from, to and from work, it's important that we each strongly consider the best career path for our lives. And Miss Linda Yates, excuse me, Mrs. Linda Yates, is here today to share some insight on how we can either experience higher job satisfaction or techniques to help us find the right career for ourselves that focuses on our strengths. So I encourage all of you when you would home to take notes and please give a warm round of applause for our Mrs. Linda Yates. Thank you. Thank you. Looking beautiful as always. You're so kind. Well, so one of the questions, and again, it wasn't like this many years ago, so why is it today that people change jobs so often? You know, that's a great question. It's amazing what the statistics are telling us. But one of the main reasons is people get tired. Tired of the politics that happen, and really at the end of the day, they're not necessarily happy with where they end up, or it's different than what they thought it was going to be. Got it. Well. For, for someone who needs more satisfaction, what are some suggestions you can give to help someone find that extra job satisfaction? Another great question. Job satisfaction is always obviously in the eyes of the beholder. So one of the great ways to get that job satisfaction is to make sure that you're fully engaged with what you're doing. People are a big part of that, the people that you work with and associate with. But if you can lock on to certain aspects that you're looking for in a position, then you're going to be able to engage in that long term. Great answer. Well, what is your recommended strategy to uh, an individual in determining what their career path is going to be? Determining that career path. What is it I want to be when I grow up? Are you still trying to figure that out? <laughs> Personally, I'm okay, but I know there's so many people I know that are dying to know this answer. And I think it changes too. We evolve. In fact, you've often heard it said that my life didn't start until I turned 50 years old. And I know lots of 50 year olds where they feel like their life just started. But determining that career path and that track is a process. It's part of the process of listing out what it is that I want my day to look like. You know, at what point in every minute of the day do I see myself doing? Things I enjoy, the environments I enjoy, the type of people I want to be around. If I want to be around individuals that don't talk to you during the day and they've got their head down on their work, then that's something important for me to know about myself. But if I need to have lots of interaction, social interaction, then that's another great thing to know also about yourself. So as you lay that out, it's important for you to determine what's the priorities for you and what's important for you. And literally by laying it out, you mean taking pen to paper and Absolutely. writing it down. Absolutely. Very important part to know. I might add too, one of the greatest resources that I have found personally as well as coaching and counseling folks is a great book called What Color Is My Parachute? That book is an incredible book, been around for years, and they update it every year, but what's important about that book is not just reading the text, but actually getting in there and doing the exercises, because it's through that exercise work that you're really able to flesh out for you what it is and what color really is your parachute. The name of the book and author again is for everyone to know. What color is your parachute? Okay, what color is your parachute, everyone? Now. There comes a time with the economy being the way that it is, and everyone is trying to figure out, okay, if I'm going to make a change, is this the right time? I don't know when I should do it. What would you suggest? When is the right time? How do you know when it's time to make this change? There is this theory of sticking too long in a position where your social capital is basically died. That social capital, what I'm referring to there, is when 
you bring up ideas and suggestions and everything's kind of turned away and there's always doors and walls. That is a pretty good indicator that, you know what, it's maybe time for me to, to move on and to break the change here. And change is scary for all of us, right? It's, it's not necessarily change that we fear, but it's uncertainty that we fear. So it's important that you be really evaluate where you're at. And as you look at making that change, they typically state that when you're making a change, depending on how much money you make, it will take you that much longer to find the type of job that you're looking for. So if you're making a six-figure income, you're probably, it probably is going to take you solid looking and searching at least a year, a year and a half to find that next opportunity. Got it. Let's say someone is now ready to make that change, and I've heard this, well, what the heck do I do now? Where do you suggest they look for the work? Looking for the work and really defining what it is you want to do. If you're very clear about what it is internally that you know that this is what you want to do and you want to, this is the field you want to be in, this is the career, this is the day-to-day -day task that you want to do, you need to start networking. And you need to start putting that message out. I have been so blessed throughout my career. Everything that I've done, I basically carved and developed the job that I ended up as a J-O-B of working for someone else before I actually got that job. And it was through networking. It was through speaking with different friends and colleagues and contacts, letting them know what my interests were, letting them know what my vision was for myself. Got it. Uh, if anyone wants to hear more about how to get more information or learn more about you, what's the website they can go to? They can go to LH Yates, so Linda Happy Yates, so LH Yates Consulting.com. Okay, great. And uh, we have to pay some bills, so we're going to take a break and we'll be back in two and two. Thank you. Give a round of applause. <laughs>